Good morning guys, welcome to the second full day in Detroit and um, today I'm going to be walking around the motor show with the video camera of course but I'm going to be trying to do something a little bit differently. I'm going to be showing you some of the um, big stands that are at Detroit North American Motor Show and I'm going to be giving my first impressions or first imp opinions. Something that I've never done before but because this is the first motor show um, that I've been to and um, have been seeing some of the cars for the first time, sorry I can't get my sentences out, it's half past six in the morning and we were up until about midnight or one o'clock in the morning last night. Um, so in the motor show I'm going to be wandering around and giving my first impressions, maybe just one sentence of what I think of the car. There's lots of cars there that I saw for the first time yesterday and I've had a, um, quite a long time to think about what I think of the cars. There's some fantastic cars, Mercedes are there, Audi are there, they've all bought their supercars or the, the super sports cars. I'm going to continue getting ready, head downstairs, have breakfast, which uh, today on the menu is going to be waffles, ice cream and strawberries. Cannot wait and, um, and then we're going to be heading off to the North American Motor Show. So um, we're two days behind. I know that um, yesterday I uploaded the first day at the North American Motor Show and you got to see quite a lot of cars but today I'm going to be going over them in a lot more detail and I hope you guys also enjoyed the 2016 Ford GT which is utterly stunning. Cannot wait to see that again. Can't stop thinking about it and um, definitely, definitely want to know more about the price the European options, whether it's right-hand drive or gonna stay left-hand drive, lots and lots to think about, and it's really exciting. Looks an incredible car, absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to get more up close and personal with the Ford GT on the Ford stand today. Starting with the Ford GT, we're at the Ford stand, it looks unbelievable. The back and the exhaust system looks like a fighter jet um, and the whole styling is incredibly futuristic. Here we have the Acura NSX which looks amazing with the metallic red paint and again like the 4 GT it's very futuristic and very sports car-esque. Apparently it's got a 9 speed double clutch gearbox which is um, phenomenal and um, just look at it. Huge display at Cadillac with a press release coming soon. This is why there's so many people here. But we're going to skip it. Should we go to Mercedes? Yeah. Yes. This is the first time that I've come across the new C63 AMG. This is the S version. And if I'm completely honest, it doesn't look as aggressive as the old AMG C63s. I prefer um, the one before this, but I'm really excited to see what the new um, C63 Coupe looks like, as this is just a baby S class. So hopefully the S63 Coupe looks fantastic and the C63 is gonna look even better. Moving on now, we've got the AMG GT which, if I'm completely honest, doesn't look as aggressive as I was expecting. It's definitely nice, but it uh, does remind me of the uh, Ford F-Type, uh, Ford Jaguar F-Type. Sitting inside the AMG GT, from the passenger side, the center console is brilliant. 
the roof up and we've got a uh, special, <laughs> here we go, Shmi 150 in the driver's seat of the AMG GT. Here with Paul having a look at the AMG GT. What do you think? I love it. I'm sure this is a really highly spec car but Alcantara wheel. I like this thing, this carbon strut across the back, it's cool. And then is that the boot in the back? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then comes over. the panoramic roof as well is uh, That's nice. something that in the sun would be Oh yeah, and then you can close it up. Very cool. Oh, quite comfy. And you can just sit the camera up like the most, that. The most important thing. <laughs> and then keep and making then, those videos. And then we go. Yes. The future of driving with Mercedes. Personally, I think the new Mustang range is the nicest yet with this Shelby looking brilliant. And I think it would be uh, my choice if I was going to be getting the Mustang. The new GT350R is brilliant, but I kind of prefer the wheels on this, even though they're carbon fiber on that Shelby and it's got a new splitter and spoiler. I do believe that this one here is beautiful. Let's walk off Ford and take a look around at some of the other manufacturers. I'm going to do a bit of point of view. Um, and trying to find out what's been going on. We've got NSX over there, which we're gonna come back to soon. We've got Michelin Man having a dance here. Having a good time. And uh, let's turn the camera around and get point of view of what's going on at the North American Motor Show. The cars and manufacturers here are incredibly American. We've got Dodge with the Dodge Viper around the corner, which we're gonna have a look at. We've got Hyundai, we've got Nissan, which are actually um, Japanese, but then we've got Chevrolet. The new Corvette over there looks incredible. And here, you just get huge, aggressive cars. And we've got a simulator over here where you can do your lap time. Maybe I'll have a go on that later. We jump in. Drive the car as normal, but it's all projected on the screen in front. What do you guys think of the Vans Edition Fiat 500L? got the British representing with Jaguar and Land Rover on this van. F-Type's looking stunning. Absolutely love the F-Type. The VAR is a real favourite of mine. Proper, proper hardcore sports car with a fantastic V8 sound. And um, the Motor Show is definitely geared towards the American market, as you would expect. The North American Motor Show, arguably the biggest one. We've got Porsche. and they've got a really cool fleet of red cars. I'll go and show you them. I think the blacks are all ours.
the new front grilles of Audi, which you can see on their new fleet of cars, are very, uh, not very curvy at all. They're very sharp. Um, and I think the new R8 is gonna be looking um, just as sharp with sharp lines, not as many curves, um, but as you can see, the fronts have gone for a more hexagon approach, which is the same as the Lamborghini Huracan. So the new R8 is definitely going to be along the lines of a much sharper, less curvy version of this.